All you have to do is walk around a grocery store or pharmacy for a few minutes and you'll find dozens of cosmetic products that prevent and treat the most varied skin problems. Have you ever stopped to think about how people took care of their skin before? The answer to this question can be found in a small plant which is very common in North America and can be found in parks and gardens. We're talking about witch hazel, a plant that has been used for centuries to treat swelling, wounds, and skin infections. Here is how you can use this amazing plant. To reduce acne, witch hazel might be one of the best natural remedies for acne. Rubbing witch hazel directly onto acne-prone skin will help swelling, redness, and oiliness. It works better if you use it with other ingredients with antibacterial properties like coconut oil, apple cider vinegar, or tea tree oil. To keep your skin from aging, witch hazel is a great natural way to make your skin look younger by reducing scars, redness, discoloration, dryness, and puffy eyes. Due to its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, it's able to maintain your skin's elasticity and firmness. To treat bug bites, most industrialized products that treat bug bites have some witch hazel in them. It helps lessen the pain and swelling of both allergies and skin irritations. To wash your hair and protect your scalp, if your scalp is irritated, pour a few drops of witch hazel in your shampoo in order to get rid of the dry, itchy sensation. Furthermore, this plant reduces oiliness and gives your hair more shine and volume. To prevent ear infections, due to the fact that it's a very efficient antibacterial, witch hazel is great at treating ear infections, such as swimmer's ear. In order to keep the problem from getting worse, put some witch hazel in a dropper and apply a few drops to your affected ear several times a day. Most people can use witch hazel on their skin without noticing any side effects, but there's always the chance that you'll have an allergic reaction, so it's important to perform an allergy test first. Put a small amount of the oil on your arm or leg and see how your skin reacts. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.